Burnley and Bournemouth are both interested in the 28-year-old, and it's been reported that West Ham and Crystal Palace are also keen. However, the Baggies are yet to receive any contact from any interested parties and do not have any plans to sell Rodriguez. Head coach Darren Moore wants to keep hold of the versatile striker, who netted 11 times in all competitions last season. Rodriguez still has three years left on the four-year contract he signed last summer following his £12 million move from Southampton. It is likely to take roughly double that to get Albion's attention this summer, and with so many clubs interested, a bidding war could drive the price up. Rodriguez is also a big fan of Moore, who gave a passionate defense of the striker when he was cleared of racial abuse against Brighton defender Gaetan Bong. Albion's head coach, who has known Rodriguez for eight years following a stint at Barnsley together, described the former Southampton striker as a man with integrity and honesty. However, Burnley is Rodriguez's hometown club and the striker came through the youth ranks at Turf Moor after being spotted at the age of 10. His family still live in the area and the Clarets can offer Europa League football next season after finishing 7th in the Premier League. Rodriguez is still well liked in Lancashire, and when Sean Dutch's team visited the Hawthorns last season, the Burnley fans serenaded the Albion striker with chants. Bournemouth could also be appealing because Rodriguez played some of his best football for Burnley under current Cherries boss Eddie Howe. Rodriguez was mismanaged at times last season, and was dropped from the side during his hottest streak of form in favor of loaning Daniel Sturridge. Moore is predicting a busy summer of trading for the Baggies, and the future of many players is up in the air. Burnley are also interested in Albion defender Craig Dawson and are weighing up a bid for winger Matt Phillips. Johnny Evans is expected to leave, with Leicester the most likely destination, and winger James McLean could also be heading for the exit door. Moore also has to decide whether he wants to give out of contract players like Boaz Hill, Gareth McCauley, James Morrison and Claudio Jakob new deals. Chief Executive Mark Jenkins said last week, One of the successful things in the past when the club has been relegated is we have always held the team together and gone back. That has been a key factor. This time we have been in the Premier League for eight years so it is going to be different, but I am sure there will just be some small changes.